वेलकम टू सीज द मेन्स बाय राज मल्होत्राज आई एस अकेडमी आम सुरभि सरदाना एंड दिस इज सीजन थ्री ऑफ आर डेली आंसर राइटिंग इनिशिएटिव इफ यू न्यू लेट मी टेल यू दिस इनिशिएटिव इज इन कॉर्डिनेशन विद आर वेबसाइट विच इज राज आई एस अकेडमी डॉट कॉम इफ यू कैन नॉट लॉग इन टू द वेबसाइट जस्ट क्लिक इन क्लिक ऑन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो ऑन आर वेबसाइट यू कैन फाइंड द मेन्स आंसर राइटिंग टैब हियर यूल फाइंड द मेन्स आंसर राइटिंग सेक्शन एंड इन दैट सेक्शन यूल सी अ लिस्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन विद मॉडल आंसर्स और यू नो अ लिस्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑन विच अदर स्टूडेंट्स हैव ऑल्सो शेयर देयर आंसर्स इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू फील मोटिवेटेड इनाफ टू राइट एन आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन दैट वी आर अबाउट टू डिस्कस दैन आफ्टर यू आफ्टर यू डन वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो जस्ट यू नो पिक अप अ पेपर एंड अ पेन और जस्ट स्टार्ट टाइपिंग योर आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन हियर इन दिस मेन्स आंसर राइटिंग चैलेंज टैब सो द इनिशिएटिव इज The initiative is working in coordination with our current affairs discussion lecture that happens freely on YouTube Monday to Saturday on a subject wise basis. So from Monday to Saturday we take subject wise topics of the past one week which are important from prelims and mains point of view and we discuss them in detail at 2:30 p.m. every day on YouTube. Also uh, a question is put to you there uh, with regards to the questions that are uh, with regards to the uh, topics that get discussed and uh, that question gets a discussion here in sees the mains and we also uh, check your answers give you our feedback entirely free of cost so let's see what is the question yesterday there was a discussion on science and tech and geography so there was this question asked that isro has been one of the most successful organizations in the space sector very true however the changing uh, times demand and involvement of this uh, involvement of private sector in space comment and answer in 150 words so you know private involvement in space sector has been talked about space sector is very much regulated by the government of india department of uh, space which is headed by the prime minister it uh, the uh, dos looks after it and isro is the main agency you know working in space for india but uh, as we've seen in the international scenario there is a lot of private involvement uh, involvement happening especially when we see you know results results of agencies like spacex which work for usa so as far as this question is concerned it is a comment question so first of all uh, you have to address the statement that is given isro has been one of the most successful organizations in the space sector so this statement the first statement will help you write your introduction and it will give a direction to your answer what you have to keep in mind you do not have to criticize any of the initiatives of isro you do not have to talk about their initiatives isro's initiative in detail or about a particular initiative what you have to write down is take a positive approach with regards to isro's successes till date and the changing needs of time the changing demand of time which uh, demands that private sector should be included so let's see how we'll frame this answer first of all we'll start by writing about the space journey of india and about the successful missions that have been carried out by isro so that this gives a boost to our answer that yes we know about the background this will be very clear to the examiner in the introduction itself so uh, in early years india space program was obviously constrained by lack of resources but the country found innovative ways of getting ahead in space so lack of resources but innovative ways so uh, this is a very positive start for your answer then talk about the successful missions of isro and as yesterday we discussed in the current affairs class you can talk about the upcoming missions of isro which if successful will like transform the journey of isro into an entirely modernized a uh, a formidable organization in space research and space mission so isro with successful and economical successful and economical part is very important because isro has been carrying out these missions at a very much lesser price as compared to developed nations especially you know uh, missions carried out by nasa and european space agency so when you, whenever you talk about isro success is one thing economy is another so like development of uh, pslv that is uh, isro's workhorse gslv mk3 mars orbiter mission chandrayaan etc so gslv mk3 is one of the latest successes because of which we have been able to launch chandrayaan and we are planning to launch gaganyaan and uh, there was a time when isro 
collectively launched like 104 satellites in orbit. So, you can write that also and about talk uh, a little bit about the upcoming missions uh, which are Gaganyaan, Chandrayaan 3, Aditya L1 and SpaceX as we discussed yesterday. Uh, the most important one here would be about the space docking experiment which is planned in 2024. So, you can conclude your introduction part by saying that ISRO, ISRO is surely heading towards a formidable position in space, thus benefiting the citizens of India on one hand and the global scientific community on the other, which is the responsibility of every research organization sending missions into space. So, ISRO's position has been justified, the first part of your answer has found a brief explanation in your answer and it will be a treat for the examiner to read this. Now, the linkage point. Linkage point will introduce your body paragraph. What is the context of question? What is the question demanding? So, linkage point is an introduction to the body paragraph. So, here give a twist to your answer that why do we need private sector in space? In 2022, the space sector is witnessing a boom which is similar to the boom that IT sector experienced in 1990s or in like early 2000s. Uh, the biotech sector experienced. So, we do not want to be left behind hence to be fully included in this shift and uh, to reap its benefits India needs to have an active involvement of private sector in space activities. This is made clear by the following points. So, here you can talk about the points that why do we need uh, like private sector in space. First would be the boost to economy. It has been estimated that by 2040, the space economy market is set to grow over US dollar 1 trillion. And as of now, the involvement of space tech, uh, the involvement of India in space tech is around 3.6 percent, while the involvement of United States of America in space tech agencies is around 56 percent. It is more than 50 percent or around like 60 percent of the world space tech is established in the United States of America. So, we need to you know cover up this gap as soon as possible because we do not want to be left behind. Secondly, it is about the low cost. First of all, ISRO has launched so many missions and you know been awarded for its low cost, been appreciated for its low cost. With the involvement of private sector, the entry, uh, entry of private sector has begun to drive down the cost per launch through innovation such as reusable Rocket. So, if private sector can come in uh, through a pr public private partnership model or through an entirely private model or through you know commercialization then it can decrease the cost of space missions that ISRO is sending or that we as a nation send. So, space activities can become less costly in the coming years if we in include the private sector. Then there is greater pool of resources. You have a limited land labor and capital especially capital. So, Private sector participation actually increases this pool of resources because it knows no borders. It will bring more funding and experience. With increased role of private sector, ISRO can concentrate more on its path breaking innovations. ISRO can focus more on the national security or on the strategically important missions which are important from the country's point of view or from the research point of view and missions for example like a mission uh, to clear space debris that can be delegated to the private sector. So, the, then there is risk, risk sharing when you know Chandrayaan 2 was launched and the, orbi uh, and the orbiter was set in place, the orbiter was there in the orbit of moon, but the lander could not land. So, there was a loss of a lot of money and uh, money and resources. So, it was you know a very big moment for the country because a lot of money goes behind launching such miss missions and then if such missions fail it becomes a disappointment for the scientific community, for the scientists working at ISRO, for the political community who had been backing up them and for the citizens uh, and for the citizens at large. So, this risk gets shared uh, when the private sector is involved especially not just the risk in terms of capital. The chances of a risk, the chances of some failure they also reduce because more people, more minds and more innovation is involved. Then uh, fifth we have this uh, we can reap our demographic dividend. There is a presence of budding entrepreneurs in our country. In fact, 60 startups have already been registered with the uh, recently launched ventures by the government of India. So, out of those 60 startups majority are there for 
clearing space debris and innovative things like you know small small things which cannot be targeted by isro on a day to day basis so presence of budding uh, entrepreneurs is there in india we have innovative minds if you know a uh, way can be provided if a path can be provided one to utilize their talent and energy two to provide them ways of commercializing their innovations so uh, nothing better than that it will prevent brain drain from the country it will keep the you know highly intellectual and intelligent minds back in the country and hence in the long run it will uh, help in growth of the country not just economic but technological advancement uh the sixth one is about technological advancement so private sector always comes up with new kinds of technologies which are faster because innovation is faster when it happens through the private route route because uh, there are many loopholes uh, which are not present in the private sector the uh, seventh one is employment again it will prevent brain drain it will uh, give jobs to many people not just you know there was this line in the the hindu that said that it is not just about producing satellites when you produce satellites there is more communication so communication infrastructure has to be developed uh, you know small small mobile phones are more in number or wires or cables or whatever data sets are more in number so every kind of industry receives a boom when we have a boom in the space industry so that generates employment at the ground uh, ground level the eighth one and the most important one is defense and security if we sit right now and we do not uh, indulge private sector in space then there is a high chance that in the coming years agencies like spacex or any other agency whether it is uh, supported by the government or it is a private ed- entity whether it is coming from a developed nation or from a whether it is coming from a democracy or a communist regime there are high chances that such an agency uh, such an entity will establish a monopoly of space right now it's the united nations uh, the law on space that uh, regulates the space and it is one of the four uh, four resources that are open to everybody every country but if there is some high tech technology developed which other countries cannot tap into so they'll be lagged behind so it is very important from our defense and security point of view and uh, especially for having intelligent cyber security space security especially and we cannot be left behind in this area so apart from the economic benefits the jobs the employment the talent pool the innovation security is of utmost importance so uh, conclusion since this is a comment question all the eight points that we discussed you can freely write about them in a paragraph form but make sure that each paragraph gives a different message to the examiner for example your first paragraph cannot have points like why do we need private sector in space that has to be your introduction that should talk about successes of isro or you know don't just miss out on the just don't uh, just don't do what has to be done first in the end so just have an order to your paragraphs and then it uh, underline the keywords and it will be made very clear to the examiner that what are you trying to convey even when you are using a body paragraph approach every time i try to communicate that use as many schematics flow charts diagrams as possible especially in answers which have a lot of points for example a lot of benefits coming from the private sector so use a flow chart to indicate that even if you are taking a body paragraph approach in the conclusion what you can say is that there is a rise of uh, this space 2.0 which can happen by inculcating private sector in the space development story of india there are two uh, entities which work for you know private privatization of oh, this space industry one is the nsil and the second is in space you don't have to write about their features but say that the formation of these two has a uh, promised a bright future in this regard that yes private entities will be involved in the growth story when it comes to space industry the country must deregulate the space sector in fact a recent mp said that we are coming up with a new space policy to have entities like spacex on indian soil so you can talk about that yes a new space policy would help and can go a long way in this regard and it a new space policy could initiate the rise of india's own spacex like like venture now you do not need to read the full board the full answer is available on our website it has already been uploaded click on the link in the description below about seize the mains it will take you to our website you can read the whole answer for yourself and write your own answer comment in the uh, comment in the comment section below send your answers in the comment section on our website also the question for tomorrow which is about uh, un peacekeeping missions it was 
it was covered in the Indian Express and it has been in news for the past one week. So, a question regarding that has been put up on our website, you can go there, you can watch Snigdha Ma'am's lecture which, uh, which is on YouTube about you know weekly current affairs of IR and security to get a better understanding of that topic and then write your answer and post it on the website. I will see you with another discussion tomorrow about UN peacekeeping mission. So, stay tuned, subscribe if you have not already and keep working hard, all the best.